Hey, sport touring enthusiasts, we're out here at Alice's Restaurant. If you've done any riding in Northern California, you've probably heard about and have been to Alice's Restaurant. Alice's Restaurant is situated in the midst of some of the best twisty roads that we have, as well as the gateway to other cool destinations. To the south, we've got Highway 9. To the west, we've got La Honda 84. A unique characteristic is that the turns just keep coming. When you take a look at the roads, some of the footage, you'll see very, very few straightaways, and the few that are there are short. So you don't end up with these super high speeds, but you end up with this intensity. It's like turn after turn after turn after turn. Our overnight temperatures are typically above 45 degrees, even January, which is our coldest month. So out here at Alice's on Saturday and Sunday morning, you'll have a couple of hundred motorcycles staging, ready to go for their rides. It's a great meeting spot because you have a nice ride here and you have a nice ride wherever you're going. A great destination from here is Santa Cruz, but you can also take off and go to Pismo Beach. You can also go north, take Highway 1 through the Great Highway along the ocean, head across the Golden Gate Bridge, check out Napa, Sausalito, go to Mirror Woods, Mount Tamalpais, so much happens right here from Alice's Restaurant. And you know what else is nice? If you're out here at Alice's, it's because you like twisties. It doesn't matter if you're on a Harley, a BMW, a Yamaha, KTM, a cafe racer, chopper. We're all good. It's all hanging out. It's all riding and having some fun. Everybody's real chill. You'll see some McLarens show up, Ferraris, Lamborghinis because we all like twisties and we respect each other. We share the road. We got here via 280 South to 92 West, 35 South to Kings Mountain Road. It's a must do if you're on a dual sport bike like this BMW F800 GS. Other bikes that are cool on that road are Africa Twin, the Ducati Multistrada 950, and the BMW F700 GS. You can get through there on the 1200, the Multistrada, the GS 1200, the S1000 XR, but you won't be having as much fun. Those bikes have too much stability built in because of their higher top speed, so it makes it a little bit more of a handful. And you really can't get on the gas coming out of some of those turns like you can on a lightweight dual sport like this one here. Let's take a look at some more of these roads.